Okay. Now we are coming to the rotational symmetries. Okay. And we have done the rotational symmetries before, but that was somehow different. Because uh, like at that time you do, you didn't have you had no much idea thereby we didn't define it in very formal way right now we will define it in a formal way for that we know we need the concept of angle can anyone please tell me what is the meaning of angle what is angle yeah what is one degree like this yeah. No, I'm not talking about types of angle. I'm just asking what is angle. My question is very simple. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah, that's great. Okay, give me two pencils, please. These are two pencils. Okay. Now, consider this one is one line, this one is another line. Okay. Now, they are at the same positions. I started rotating this line, this one. Now, it has some rotation. This, this pencil has some rotation with this pencil. I further rotated this pencil. Right now, the rotation has been increased. And I further rotated the rotation has been increased, increased, and so on. This, in English, we say it has small rotation. And mathematics, we say it has small angle. It has large rotation. Then so This was small rotation. Right now, it has been increased. The rotation has been increased. And mathematics, we say right now, the angle has been increased. Okay, so it's a terminology. Now, to define it formally, look here. Suppose this is a circle. Understand? And this one is the top of the pencil. This is called P, suppose. And this is the center of the circle. Oh. I divided the circle into 360 equal parts. One part, two part, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These parts are equal actually. This part is equal to this part is equal to this part, this part, and so on and so forth. Understood? Now, this part and this part are the most closer to each other, closest to each other than any other points. So join this. It has some rotation. This rotation is called one degree. Understand? Now, rotation of this with this. Now, suppose I am erasing this one and I am bringing to the second position. Then, how much is this angle? Two. two degree. Because this one was one degree, then naturally this is two degree. And I started rotating. I came here, here, here. When I came back to its original P, like moving uh, along the circle and come back to P, then, okay, now, <clears throat> when this complete a whole revolution or complete circle, when it come here, it was one degree, this was two degree, here the angle mad was three degree, so when it will come back to this original position P, the angle will be how much? 360, normal ex extension. Okay, now look here. Again, I started from here, okay. 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree, and so on and so forth. And when it comes back to its original positions, so the angle is how much? 360. Now, what is the half of 360? 180. 180, great. So, 180 is how much? Look here. When you are moving from here to here, okay, when you are completing one complete circle, okay, so this is almost the half. This is exactly the half. Okay, from here to here, it is a half revolution, and here it is half. So, this angle is how much? 180, not 90, 180. Now, look here. I am coming, coming to that. Don't just memorize the thing. Try to learn the things. Why it is like L, L is y, y 90. Now, look here again. 
this is 180 this is less than 180 this is less than 180 less than 180 this is less than 180 this is exactly the half of 180 and this is less than even the half of 180 so this is exactly the half of yeah please um, sir, Yeah, we, this is, these are nomenclatures, okay? So we will discuss the, about these things. Just focus here. So this is exactly the half of 180. The part, this angle is called how much? 90 degrees. Understand? And this is below the 90. So this was the general overview of angle. You need to, when you are studying rotational symmetry, you need the concept of angle, okay? Yeah, please. when we do like a circle, you know, like a couple of parts, like degrees. So what should be the gap? Of them so that they are 360 degrees. Like Here, it is, it is very understood that if you will, suppose you cut this uh, circle here and you make it straight. Yeah. When you make it straight, you have to convert it into exactly 360 equal parts. You can make another circle, it will be like small circle. So the line will be small. Again, you can do the 360 equal parts on that circle uh, of this. Yeah. Why is it supposed to be 360? It was, first, for the first time it was defined like this. So you can't uh, raise question on this thing. Why he defined like this? Uh, it's something, I think, he defined like this. When you are studying science, you have to go to the root of the thing. Who defined it for the first time? and how he divided. Now, this is also a good question. You can study about that. Why he divided it into 306 equal parts? Why not 100? So, if he divided it into 100 equal parts, even forget about him. Just divide it into 100 equal parts. Then this whole angle, complete evolution, this will be 100 degree, this will become 50 degree, and this will become 25 degree. But this will only works for you. You can't deal international world because international world is only accepting that thing because he done for the first time so those who done something for the first time only works for them yeah please i'm sure i have a question yeah please is it possible to have an angle above yeah this is a very good question look here you started from here increased rotation 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 when it come here you have already done one complete revolution. It is exactly like this. Someone started from here, he came here, and he come back here. Now he is here. One, this is person Q, and one person is already here. So person Q is different than person P, because person Q once came here, went back, and right now he is here. So when you, when it will complete one revolution, like here, then if it is moving more then it will the angle will be more than 360 yeah. understand yeah, yeah please uh, so there are, it is, yeah, there are two circles, so like 360 plus 360 what is the answer i think 720 yeah yeah, yeah please uh, actually, yeah please uh, Two hundred degrees. Look here. This is one eighty. So just slightly increase. This will become two hundred almost. And you can see uh, this is this. These are just approximation. I don't know what is this exactly. You can see it in uh, like. Have you used the D? Yeah. You, but I think D is only up to one eighty. Okay. So there are different devices. Yeah. This is D. Okay. Now forget about this. Okay. Uh, let me come to my original discussion. Now, <clears throat> suppose this is a point P, okay? This is a point P and uh, this is at a distance of 5 centimeter from, oh, understand? And I mark every point, I mark every point, every point whose distance is 5 centimeter from O. Then, if P is moving in such a way that it follows this, this exit curve, then we say P has a rotational motion 
understand this will work for you when you will go to advanced specifically physics p has a rotational motion with respect to o so you can't exclude the term with respect to because this one is important because every time it is a, at a distance of 5 cm from uh, o understand now this is just only we discussed for only one point so in practical life we have objects normally okay so let me discuss for the objects okay look here now look here i started rotation this rotating this rotating this rotating this rotating this okay now you can see just pick this point just ignore all other points and pick this only this point and let me mark it okay, uh, can you see the red color the red color ball on this page when you are rotating when you are rotating this object this color okay look here this distance is suppose 5 cm now see from here this distance is 5 cm when i am rotating this object rotating 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 see the position of this this is always that same distance and it describe a circle look here please follow just ignore the page just follow this red color just follow the red color you will see it describe a circle it describe a circle means it moving in a straight in a circle okay oh my god this is a problem understand just see in every every time this distance is fixed whether it is here 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 we can't okay now just i forget about that point now focus this point when it is moving again this point is also describing a circle so every point describe a circle and this is called rotational motion okay so we need this thing because uh, the upper we study and you will study these things in physics in advanced uh, courses okay so what is a rotational motion when all the all the points in the objects are moving in a circular path with respect to some fixed point look here why it is called fixed point when you are rotating this object this, there is only one point which is not moving all other points are moving which one point is that one so here that point along which we are rotating that point is called center of rotation why it's called center of rotation because with respect to this point this this point also make a circle this point also make a circle and every other point make a circle okay now when we are rotating objects okay when we are rotating objects we say like look here look here this is a book okay and when we rotate it like this here how much is the angle 90 who says 90 look here i am rotating this object and i bring it here how much is the angle 90 great how you know it is 90 how you know it is 90 okay we we can if suppose this was point p it came from here to here then we can understand it is 90 but a book when a book is moving we didn't study any concept related the books okay we didn't study the angles in a shape we just only studied the angles in and sorry no no for a single point when a single point is moving in a circle understand so we know how to associate the concept of angle but with the books we don't know understand now look here this is a rectangle suppose this is the center of rotation along which we want to rotate this object and when it come here i think it's not reasonable size this is reasonable size look here this was suppose my point p understand now join this with this 
when i rotate it this object okay when i rotate it this object where is point p right now this one or this one this one so this is p now join this one is this angle is 90 or not 90 or not it mean when we are rotating objects just just only focus on one point if every if that point makes an angle of 90 it means every point in that object is making an angle of 90 understand how to actually there is no concept of angle in the book there is no concept of angle uh, angle is always associated with lines so one is this line one is this line okay and you can focus on any other point just focus on this point and this point. You will see the same result, okay? So, just only focus on one single point. If it, if it is making an angle of 90, it means the shape is making an angle of 90. Because in every point in the shape is making an angle of 90. This is just only for your elementary level. Otherwise, there is separate concepts of angles for shapes. We can define this in a different way. But right now, you are uh, very kids. So, it's okay for you. Okay, now <clears throat> when we are rotating the objects, okay, when we are rotating the objects, like look here, when I rotated this object, look here, when I am rotating this object, okay, it come back to its original position, but it will make a problem in your life because when I am rotating this object, once I rotate it, I am losing the original shape in my mind, when, where it was originally. So we can do another thing. What we can do, we will, we will insert another shape. Wait a minute. Look here. Now, <clears throat> for a while, consider this is not two share two pages, only one page, and I am rotating that one page. But since I don't know where my original page was, therefore I fixed one, and I am rotating this one because this and this are exactly the same. So when I am rotating this object, look here. This point was here. Okay. When I bring it here. It is right now 90 angle. Why it is 90 angle? I explained it here. Right now, it is not exactly as before. It is not overlapping each other. So it means it there is no symmetry. Okay, now look here. When I rotated it up to 180, it come back to its original position. They are right, right now overlapping each other. Yeah, or we can say you can't distinguish it from you, the original position. So right now it has uh, 180 rotation and uh, when you rotated this page on 180, you got the uh, original position. So, uh, okay, and then restarted and when we, uh, uh, okay, we observed and when we come back into 360 degree at right now, a come back to its original position. So when we rotated the object uh, for 360 degrees, how many times it overlap each other? Only two times. It means the order of, but, but we, we were rotating. How we obtain this symmetries? We obtain these symmetries through rotation. Therefore, it's called order of rotation. So order of rotational symmetries is how much in triangle uh, rectangle? Two. So you can think like this, okay? Now, uh, 